Hi, Dr. J here. Up to this point, we've discussed um, the role of faith, goal setting, relationships with your friends, your family, even yourself. We've talked about foods and how they impact our health and our well-being. I want to start touching on how we use our bodies. How do we honor our temple, if you will, and how that plays into our health and our well-being. And what I'm talking about is fitness or exercise. You know, as it's getting nicer out these days, I think it's uh, really easy naturally to want to go out and you know move your body, whether it be through exercise or getting out in the yard and doing some house projects, whatever the case may be. But I believe and I know for a fact that movement and exercise and fitness shouldn't just be when it's a nice time of year thing. It should be an all the year thing. And I, I know that this not only from implementing it in my own life but also helping others that you have to really embrace a mantra that I teach our patients here and that's this, that motion is life. Motion is life. Wherever you're not moving, you're dying, literally. If, if your relationships are stagnant, if you're not growing and evolving your relationship, they're withering. If you're not evolving and growing your nutritional choices, your cells die. And if you don't learn to move your body effectively, not only does your body wear down and break down, but you literally start to speed up the aging and the death process. And so we know from research that exercise on a daily basis literally has been shown to reduce the likelihood again of cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, and it actually has been shown in clinical research to reverse diabetes. Yet, why don't people use it? Why don't people exercise? I mean, I think it holds the same challenge that nutrition did that we talked about you know, several videos ago, and that's this, that there's a lot of experts, there's a lot of different opinions, and you almost don't know what to do. And I think with exercise, even more than foods, and it's just my opinion here, but I think people get intimidated. They get intimidated because you know they think they have to do these grandiose things, whether it be you know running marathons or you know doing you know heavy lifting or have to go to big gyms and be intimidated by their own body or their own image of their body and trying to compete with people who look you know like the covers on magazines or whatever. You know, here's the deal. Uh, to be blunt, that's crap. You you don't need to do that stuff. You have to honor where you are and you have to start somewhere. That's the truth. And if you're already exercising, great. More power to you. Keep it up. And in fact, find new forms of exercise that are pushing and challenging you. But if you're not moving, if you're not exercising, I'm here to tell you, and it's, my intention isn't to offend anyone, but that's no longer okay. You have to move your body. You have to. If you don't, you are killing yourself. I can't be more blunt. What you can do though is you can choose how you move. Don't be over, don't be uh, um, nervous. Don't, don't overthink this. Just start somewhere. And if that somewhere just means I'm going to walk for five or ten minutes today and I don't usually walk, great, start there. If you're, you're nervous about being able to walk outdoors because of challenges with joints and whatnot, fine, cool, walk in your house. Set an alarm clock, set a timer and walk for five or ten minutes, but start somewhere. Right now we've got nicer weather and some neighborhoods have pools that you have access to. Get in the pool, move your body, but start somewhere. Over the next several weeks, my goal is to help all of you, regardless of wherever your fitness levels are, and show you some things, some tricks, some easy ways to strengthen your heart, strengthen your joints, and strengthen your muscles in a very time efficient manner. Regardless if you're a seasoned runner and marathoner or bodybuilder or whether you're someone who really knows in your heart that you're not getting off the couch enough and you're not moving and you know that it's not allowing you to be as healthy as you could be, whoever you be, I'm going to help you. And we're going to send some things out there into the universe and into Facebook and my hope is that again it blesses you, that it helps to take away some fear, or some worries, some anxieties that you have and empowers you empowers you with knowledge and with that knowledge that you take action because I can't do it for you but you can do it and just takes that first step you know there's a laws in science that says that an object at rest will tend to stay at rest but an object in motion will continue in motion ladies and gentlemen momentum is created you have to start moving and once you start moving it'll be infectious 
They'll fill your body. You'll feel great when you do it. You'll love how you feel after you go for walks, after you exercise, after you work out, after you sweat, after you move your body. You will love it. And so my goal over the next several weeks is to give everyone those tools so you can fall in love with movement and in doing so, improve your health and improve your well-being. So my challenge to everyone here before we go is this. Wherever you are, if you're someone who doesn't exercise, doesn't move at all, start this week. Start somewhere. Promise me, promise yourself that you're going to start somewhere. With a walk around your neighborhood, with a walk around your house, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, I don't care. Start somewhere. Every day, move your body. If you're already a seasoned athlete and you're doing some different things, go promise yourself you're going to go about 10% above what you've already been doing. Just go to another level. Just push yourself. Make it happen. And then, again, in the next couple of weeks, we'll share some really cool things, some ways I train on a limited time budget and train for some different events and whatnot. I'll, I'll, I'll share my heart. I'll share my routines. I'll share the tricks of the trade that I've been really learning and implementing and sharing with others for the last 14 years. And as some of my friends will tell you, I've been doing since I was a kid. So um, I look forward to the next couple of weeks and sharing my heart with you. I hope this blessed some of you. I hope it challenged some of you. I hope it uh, stimulates some of you to want to make a change in your life. Uh, I appreciate and love all of you. God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.